This election is about who can preserve the values, principles, and institutions that make America great. Don't believe me? Look at what's happening in American cities. Cities all run by Democrats. Crime, violence, and mob rule. Democrats refuse to denounce the mob, and their response to the chaos? Defund the police, defund Border Patrol, and defund our military. And while they're doing all this, they're also trying to take away your guns. Look at the positions they've taken in the past few months. Democrats won't let you go to church, but they'll let you protest. Democrats won't let you go to work, but they'll let you riot. And Democrats won't let you go to school, but they'll let you go loot. President Trump has fought against each of their crazy ideas. He's taken on the swamp, all of the swamp, the Democrats, the press, and the never Trumpers. And when you take on the swamp, the swamp fights back. They tried the Russia hoax, the Mueller investigation, and the fake impeachment. But in spite of this unbelievable opposition, this president has done what he said he would do. Taxes cut, regulations reduced, economy growing, lowest unemployment in 50 years, out of the Iran deal, embassy in Jerusalem, hostages home from North Korea, a new U.S. MCA agreement, and of course he's building the wall and rebuilding our economy as we speak. I love the president's intensity and his willingness to fight every day in Washington for our families. It hurt my soul to hear the terrible names that people call Donald. The worst one is racist. I take it as a personal insult that people would think I've had a 37 year friendship with the racist. People who think that don't know what they're talking about. Growing up in the deep south, I've seen racism up close. I know what it is, and it isn't Donald Trump. Isn't it ironic that Democrat politicians have personal security to protect them? So why don't they forego their security and replace them with social workers, especially since that's what they want for you and me? As a mob of protesters descended on our neighborhood, America is such a great country that not only do you have the right to own a gun and use it to defend yourself, but thousands of Americans will offer you free advice on how to use it. At least that's what we experienced. What you saw happen to us could just as easily happen to any of you who are watching from quiet neighborhoods around our country. And that's what we want to speak to you about tonight. It seems as if the Democrats no longer view the government's job as protecting honest citizens from criminals, but rather protecting criminals from honest citizens. Not a single person in the out of control mob you saw at our house was charged with a crime. But you know who was? We were. I wouldn't be here without the bravery and heroism of the men and women in law enforcement who saved my life. President Trump stands with those brave men and women. Joe Biden has embraced the left's insane mission to defund them. My decision is very easy. I choose President Trump because I choose America. I choose freedom. I still hear my dad. There is no other place to go. Thank you, and may the good Lord bless America. Freedom of thought, freedom of speech, freedom of religion, the rule of law. Thomas Jefferson famously said, I have sworn upon the altar of God eternal hostility against every form of tyranny over the mind of man. Our founders believed there was nothing more important than protecting our God-given right to think for ourselves. Now the left, they're trying to cancel all of those founders. They don't seem to understand this important principle. In order to improve in the future, we must learn from our past, not erase it. So we're not gonna tear down monuments and forget the people who built our great nation instead. We will learn from our past so we don't repeat any mistakes. Joe Biden said if a black man didn't vote for him, he wasn't truly black. Joe Biden said black people are a monolithic community. Our side is working on policy, while Joe Biden's radical Democrats are trying to permanently transform what it means to be an American. Make no mistake. Joe Biden and Kamala Harris want a cultural revolution, a fundamentally different America. If we let them, they will turn our country into a socialist utopia. And history has taught us that path only leads to pain and misery 
especially for hardworking people hoping to rise. Sí, ya sé, ya sé lo que algunas personas van a decir. Vaya, vaya, eso no te lo esperabas. Excelente reporte de Ina Finogenova de RT. Esto está todo mal. Yo no debería estar aquí.